Welcome back to another episode of Should I Buy This? A show where I review things that I know I already like, but I share with you why I think you'd like them too. <laughs> Weird concept, but bear with me. My name's Amara Andrew, and today I'm gonna talk to you about Shirley Wine, specifically their regular rosé and their sparkling rosé. Okay, so here we have it. We have our two bottles. We have our traditional rosé and then our sparkling rosé. Woo, exciting. Off the bat, you can totally tell that they're different colors, but we'll get to that in our next segment of Should I Buy This? I just wanna say this is not a kickback by Shirley at all or like sponsored by Shirley in any way. This is just genuinely my opinion and my review about these things. FYI, just wanted to put it out there so you're gonna get my full honest review, promise. Shirley is a company that really specializes in low alcohol wine. I say low alcohol because there is still some alcohol alcohol to this. Um, it's less than 0.5% per volume, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it actually just says it right there. Yoink. On their website, they actually say that it's the equivalent of fermented fruit juice. So they put it through a steam distillation process. So that actually separates the alcohol from the rest of the wine, leaving just this awesome, aromatic, delicious flavor yumness, I guess, and then uh, low to no alcohol to it, which is really cool. Um, I also wanna point out that Shirley Wine is gluten-free, vegan, and very low sugar as well, and I think low calorie. Yeah, very low. It's, uh, there are three servings per container and 15 calories per serving, so that's 15 times three, uh, 45. I'm doing a series of videos on Shirley Wine, so if you're curious at all about their sparkling white wine, both in the bottle and in the cans and their red wine, check my channel for those videos. Those will be out soon. Without further ado, let's go taste these bad boys. So at this point, you must be asking yourself, Amara, or I guess asking me, Amara, what the fuck is the point of having wine without alcohol in it? I actually haven't been doing alcohol for a couple years. Like I have it every once in a while with friends and family and stuff like that for celebrations. But generally speaking, I actually have no inclination to have alcohol essentially like ever again. I just like, I felt like garbage the next day when I would drink. I didn't know that you could just like feel better, <laughs> which is not good. And the next day too, I'd be like, oh my God, did I say something stupid? Nine times out of 10, if you have to ask yourself that question, yeah, you probably did. Just being honest. So I just, I've been going on this whole kick. I, like I said, I have a bunch of mocktail recipes on my channel too, just because I don't know, I still love having a social drink. I don't know. There's like something about the, the alcohol flavor that I just genuinely like. For instance, I really love tequila. I love whiskey. I loved wine actually as well, but tequila and whiskey were like my my main two things. I'm actually secretly hoping in the future, Shirley, if you can do like tequila and whiskey as well, I will be your girl for sure. I'll be buying all your shit. I already am, so I'll just keep doing it. So anywho, that was a very long tangent to say that there are just some people that just don't want to drink, but may just like the flavor, like me, because I'm a weirdo. So let's try them. So this is the part of should I buy this where things might get a little weird. I like to do the five senses essentially. So I do uh, touch, taste, smell, sound, and look, but I also do it for the packaging as well. <laughs> so first off the bat, I love the Shirley label. I know it's very just basic. It's a nice bold sans serif font, but I love the label. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks very clean. It looks very modern. Um, I like that alcohol removed is like nice and bold on the front. Very simple typography and design on the back as well, if you can see that. There you go. Nice and simple, very clean. Um, it actually doesn't have any like foil or wax or anything on the top too. So just fun fact. Oh, it's a Shirley on the cork. Look. There it is. Isn't that fun? And then here for the sparkling varietal. I love sparkling wine bottles, just stuff like that. There's just something about this shape that is just so appealing to me. I really like the, uh, what brand is it? The Sofia Coppola wine. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Insert photo here. Isn't that such a pretty wine bottle? This one is also very beautiful as well. Very pleasing to the eye. Traditional basket for the wine poppage for the sparkling. Same design and everything for the back label. Looks great. Doesn't really have smell, which is really nice. Tastes like glass. Don't worry, I'm gonna taste the actual wine too. Don't think I'm totally out of my mind, just a little bit. Everybody already knows that though. If you've been around for a while, you know I'm just totally bonkers. Sounds great. They have different sounds. I feel like I'm like those ASMR people. Now, when you listen to this, you will hear the chorus of angels. Anyway, <laughs> wow, I 
totally lost track of where I was with this. Yeah, anyway, let's just pop these open, why not? I am going to start with the traditional regular rosé because I need adult supervision to open the sparkling one, so we're just gonna put this off to the side for now. <laughs> so, you put your dude in here. Oh God, that's not going, okay. I have to stand up for this because you actually, I can't open wine seated, I think. There we go. This is working. Oh boy. And then that thing. Ooh, don't mock me. This smells like peach. Like you really smell it immediately. I know like at certain, Jesus Christ, hold on. I know at certain wine places, they have you smell the cork and I've never understood that. Cause I'm like, yeah, it smells like grapes, cool. Wow, this, oh my God, this really smells like peach. Holy shit. That is really cool. I also destroyed this cork. Sorry, you can't even see it. It just looks like a butthole. Just trust me, I destroyed this cork. <laughs> It seriously smells like peach. What are the flavor notes even? I am for sure not a wine connoisseur. Let me see if I can find the flavor notes on Shirley. Shirley.com. I have like a hundred tabs open. This is so annoying. Or no, you know what? I'm not gonna look yet. I pulled it up. I'm not gonna look yet. I'm gonna try it and see if I can figure it out. So I am not saying I am a wine connoisseur at all. I like drinking it. So I guess that's like basically what all people, except for like a few, a select few sommeliers, who, uh, Somalia? Somalia? Somalia. Ay, ay, ay. And not a person from Somalia. I'm just gonna pour this and shut up. Oh, and I know that the, mm, the glass that you're supposed to drink it out of is supposed to be a smaller mouth one. I only have like three different wine glasses because we are minimalists. Check out Jeff's documentary here. Mm, I really smell peach. Peach is like the main thing that I'm smelling. It smells delicious. It looks very pretty. I really like this color. It's like liquid gold. So it has a tinge of rose color to it, but obviously the sparkling has a much deeper red kind of color. Let's just take a sip. This is really good. Theoretically, if you wanted to, I'm pretty sure you could kind of just like pound this whole glass or this whole bottle and you'd be fine. <laughs> Actually, let's try it. Cheers. It's still wine, so it's difficult to like chug. So I, I, I didn't get very far. <laughs> wow, that is really good. Okay, so what are the flavor notes? Cause I keep getting peach and I've said peach, I think a hundred times. Every time I say peach, take a drink. A delightful rosé with fruit forward notes, bright peach. That's what I said. Passion fruit and strawberry. Ooh, strawberry. If you close your eyes and think hard, well, that's gonna be difficult for me. You will get a hint of watermelon. Oh God, I see it. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to mock you, Shirley. It's just funny. Think hard. Ugh, I wish. Yeah, I do get the strawberry now. That's really funny. It smells delicious. Like it smells like, yeah, just a strawberry, watermelon, guava, peachy kind of flavor, if that makes any sense to you. Like just imagine all of those flavors combined. It's, it's really nice. It's very subtle. I think like a little bit of a light floral to it as well. Like I said, I'm not a connoisseur at all. I bet some sommelier. <laughs> could do a hell of a lot better job. That is very good. So I'm gonna stop drinking this for right now. And then I am gonna ask for my adult supervision to come help me open the sparkling. Oh, Jeff, I'm scared. Ah, I was moving closer to get this up. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Oh yeah, that smells different actually. It smells more sparkly. <laughs> Lots of boobles already. <sighs> First off, very pretty color. Like I said, definitely darker than the non-sparkling rosé. Sorry, our walls are gray, so it actually makes everything look darker, but you can kind of see the difference. It like, it smells sparkling. It actually smells like strawberry jam, but like sparkly, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's so sparkly. Oh my God. Ooh, look at how pretty this is when you pour it. Darling, this is marvelous looking. As you can see, very pretty uh, reddish pinky kind of color, lots of bubbles. They look very plick and perfect. Let us take sip first. Smells really good. Mmm. So I'm thinking, good for me. Thank you, Shirley, for inspiring me to think. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I feel like the sparkling actually may have lost a little bit of flavor just because it has the bubbles with it. Because the, the regular non-sparkling, oh, I need a palate cleanser. Yeah, the regular just has so much more flavor to it versus the sparkling. So it's funny, with the sparkling, I get more of a strawberry kind of flavor. With the regular, I get more of a peach flavor. Not bad at all, I still 
very much enjoy it. Um, also, it could just be I don't have the proper glass for it as well. I'm just using a coupe glass. That might be the proper glass. I don't know. I just like how it looks. These are both very good though for very different reasons. So while we're sipping on our traditional rosé and sparkling rosé, I just want to talk about some of the pros and cons um, just to think about if you're going to make this purchase. Some of the pros are that uh, these wines are made with natural ingredients. Like I said, also low in alcohol. If you're totally abstaining from alcohol, probably wouldn't recommend having them just because there is still a little bit of alcohol to it. But if you're doing low alcohol like me, then go for it. They're also low in sugar, low in calories, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. Like I said, if you don't give a shit, then don't give a shit. It's just there for your information. Also, these are really great to help you blend into social settings. Highly recommend it. Um, very, very great for that. It just, it looks like regular wine until someone's like, oh, can I have some? And then you have to be like, oh, just FYI. No, not a lot of alcohol. Some of the cons. There are only a few, um, but I do just want to bring them up. So since Shirley is still pretty new, it's a little difficult to be able to try to find Shirley in stores. So they do have like a store locator on their website that you can find like find where it is near you. It's also difficult to get this online because they do keep selling out, which great for them, but also a little maddening when you're trying to place an order for a video you're trying to make. No. <laughs> I've been trying to track down the Pinot Noir for the longest time and I can't actually get it for some reason. I think it's back on their website. So as soon as I'm done with this review, I'm gonna get the Pinot Noir, I hope, but we'll see what happens. That's just a con for now. I'm sure as it becomes more popular or more people request it, you can, you'll be able to find it easier. Also. I really hope restaurants and bars and things like that start to carry this more often, but we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. And it is a little pricey. I will just say that. So if you're a wine aficionado and you don't mind spending however much for wine, then it's perfect for you. It can add up a little bit. Uh, just if you're buying multiple bottles or something like that, it's not stupid expensive by any means. As of this recording, so 2022, a traditional rosé, so this just plain one, is $24.99 for a one-time purchase. Um, you can also subscribe and get a discount and all that stuff. If you do the sparkling, the sparkling is also $24.99. So both 25 bucks. It's not like a ton of money, but it can add up if you want to have like maybe one bottle a week or two, or if you just want to save it for special occasions and things like that. You do get free shipping though, which is really cool. And you do like the more you buy, the more you save. Well, that's what I did. Those are my only two cons are that difficult to find in the in the real world right now and then also sometimes things are out of stock but then also the pricing it can be a little much just for like people like me who try to keep their budget in line just a few things to think about if you're gonna buy this all that said should I buy this yes I think you should <laughs> if you're doing low alcohol I highly recommend it I'm gonna have bottles of Shirley just at my house just if I have friends come over or something like that, just to hang out in the backyard and it's like, oh, I want something a little fun and festive. Yeah, so Shirley, if you're interested in a partnership, hit me up. <laughs> I've been telling all my friends about Shirley, actually. I'm definitely a huge advocate for Shirley. I love it. I think it's a really great idea. I love that it's just steam distilled. It doesn't have any like funny business going on for it. And be on the lookout for my future uh, Shirley reviews as well. I'm gonna do the sparkling white wine. So I'm gonna do the bottle and then the cans. And then I'm also gonna do the red wine. I was able to get a cab sauve, so I'm gonna review that. Hopefully. I can review a Pinot Noir in the future, but we'll see what the Shirley gods have in store for me. In order to get notified of those videos, you can subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Um, I would appreciate it, but you do you, whatever you feel like. Like this video if you liked it, and if you didn't like it, then I hope you have a good day. That'll do it for this video, but yeah, go buy Shirley. Uh, I love it. I'm gonna drink these two bottles now and not really get too much of a buzz, which will be great. Oh, and no hangover the next day. I don't know if I said that actually. No hangover, that's perfect. You could just drink this all and I honestly, I feel so good the next morning, I promise you. Like I genuinely feel great the next morning after drinking this and I can get stuff done. I'm just blabbing, I'm gonna keep drinking, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. So see you in the next one, bye. I wonder what it tastes like out of the bottle. Mm. <laughs> I almost just died. Help. I'm glad you were there to witness. Witness the fitness. Oh my God. So I think this tastes better from the bottle. Just saying. Okay, bye. <laughs>